Hey, Clinton. What are you doing here? Just get out of here. You said you were going to come. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can't. I'm my Wonder Woman. <laughs> I wanted to support you. Oh, thank you. I need it. I'm like, oh. How you time I, you I, I, know, I show up. I'm always nervous. I'm always nervous because these guys have been doing it for so long and they got like their groups and everything. I'm just like. You're prepared though. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I've been training. It's been a while since I've been. You've I'm been doing, binging movies. I have. I have. Those, those Potter films. So. I'm feeling good. I don't know. I never know. It's the wheel and whatnot, so I don't know. But good. you're here, so I. I I'm not think. the only one who wanted to show a little bit of support, though. So I brought some backup. I hope that's what? okay with you, you wanna... guys. Oh, get out of here! Yeah, yeah. baby, we're doing get it. Out of here. Now we got yeah. time. Girdler's here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, just... We're doing this. Okay. Girdler. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, girdler. Kind of been like this for a little bit. Uh, okay, but yeah. no, you guys. I don't care. I don't care. You guys here because I'm so. Every time I come here, everyone's got like their groups and their cheering squads, and I'm like, hey. DC it's Movie me. News. Well, ready I, to go. Now, now's it's our time. time. Now's the time we make an impact. The Schmodown's been going on for 72 years. We haven't been here yet. Now's the time where DC serves the people right. Mike, you're our lasso of truth, right, man. You too, realize? A little too intense. We're supposed to be hope, you know. No more dark and stuff. Hope. Yeah. Yeah. Dark and gritty stuff. No hope. Oh, oh, we're, we're on the upswing now. So new let's, let's go new era. Oh, we're, we're, are you putting it in? Oh, no words, just action. Unite the league. On three, we'll say league. Ready? One, two, three. League! league! <laughs> Trivia Schmodown, it's inner geekdom time, and I'm Christian Harlow. Lunch money will be stolen, wedgies will be administered. I am Mark Ellis, and this is the geekiest of the geeky, Christian, the fatal five-way. One winner walks out of here, and he's going to murder four other people. Or she. There is the inner geekdom. It's happening today, and normally we have a team match going on, but the inner geekdom league has really been building. And to be fair, it was really built by, say, Robert Meyer Burnett and the champion Hector Navarro. Since then, we've seen competitors like Jeremy Johns, We've seen competitors like Rachel Cushing and Jason Inman make their way up, and now more and more people want to compete. You plant the seeds, geeks start to grow, and they know their stuff. These questions range from Star Wars, Star Trek, Harry Potter, Marvel, DC, and that damn Lord of the Rings. We've got some newcomers here, Mark. We've got some old, familiar faces in here as well. Old faces. And let's get to some of the competitors and hear what they're talking about right now. I've competed in the movie trivia showdown in teams a couple of times. Obviously, I am frequently present as the post-game interviewer. I've really been wanting to get in the ring, and I figured, what better way to potentially do well than to maximize my chances of actually having seen the movies that I get asked questions about? Hello, I am Erica Ishii. You may know me from Geek and Sundry. I bring passion and spirit and a little bit of knowledge, I really hope. So the free-for-all, I feel like I didn't know what I was getting into. I honestly was unprepared. I came in, I was overwhelmed. You know that nightmare you have in high school when you're in your underwear and you're in front of a lot of people? That was the host version of this. I walked in, there was 40 people I'd only seen in 2D. Some I'd met and I was just, you know, I admit, didn't do my best, but I'm excited for this opportunity to do better. I'm from Screen Junkies News. It's going to be interesting to be here because as uh, someone who fought in movie fights and TV fights, you can argue. I'm not allowed to argue here because it's like math. It's like it's a fact. You can't argue facts. But I don't have to show my uh, work, so that's that's a happy thing. I have been asking Christian to get into the inner geekdom. Now this is where I'm going to shine. I made a strong debut in the regular Schmodown. I felt good going into the free for all, but the numbers were not on my side. I went number one in that, and I was out within two rounds. I was embarrassed by that, especially by some of the answers I had. So I went back, I've been studying. Inner Geekdom is where I am going to thrive. The one category I will not lose in is Harry Potter. All day, every day, Harry Potter. I was part of a Harry Potter improvisation team. I used to be part of the Harry Potter forum boards. I wrote Harry Potter fan fiction. That's right, you're never gonna find it. Go ahead and try and look for it. I consider the Inner Geekdom my first match. This is me coming in how I should have. This is the right first step. I feel like last time I just didn't know what my head was on. This is the right way to go in. So this is my vengeance, my first round, and my revenge all in one. Very excited to see both Charlie Feldman and Erica Ishii here today. Go, ladies. Ladies are going to crush this inner geekdom, I'm telling you. My opponents, who I am friends with outside in the real world, I'm going to take you down for brunch. And we're going to have a good time and drink mimosas. I don't know Mike. He seems like he's probably a really pretty cool guy, but everybody else, Koi and Charlie and Emma, are like super cool people, and we're just gonna have a really good time. 
Oh, am I am I supposed to? Uh, Am I supposed to wait? Am I supposed to be trash talking them? Erica, I've only dealt with uh, a few times, but she is just a bubbly bundle of joy. So I'm really curious how she fights because it's going to feel like fighting a Powderpuff Girl. I do actually watch like Star Wars and superhero and Harry Potter films. So I think actually I know that today is really going to be my chance. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do better than my best. I'm going to uh, take my best and put it in uh, a ball and then set it on fire and put it through the hoop because that's basketball, right? That's how you play basketball. I'm ready to come in strong. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to be a contender. I'm ready to actually brawl here. I've got ideas about the future. I've got excitement. I've got preparedness and I want to come in. I want to fight and I want to take down Hector. I'm looking at this table. To me, this is the Legion of Doom that is surrounding me. I'm going to rise above it all, a champion of their inner geekdom. I am making my way for that belt. A lot of nice words to be had. That's a lot right. of things stood out here, too. You see, like, Charlie Feldman and Eric Ishii saying that they know each other. They want to compete. They want to have a good time. They want to have fun. They want to see what's in store for them for the Schmodown. Emma Fife, we know very well. She has become a, the golden mic uh, of the of the post-interviews here, and she now, what she wants to do, she wants to prove herself because she doesn't feel she had a good run in teams, and she feels that this might be her strength. She has a golden mic, but there's another mic working back there as Who's well. That? His last name is Kalinowski. You see Kalinowski, and Kalinowski said that he had he didn't like his performance in the free-for-all, and he feels like this is home. This is where he belongs. He feels he can make a statement here and really make a name for himself. And someone else who said a lot of the same things was Coy Jandrew. Coy, who I spoke to afterwards, was not thrilled at all, and he said as much in his interview about his free fall performance, and he thinks this is where he is, but how about the balls on him by calling out the you champion? You saw his balls. No, I didn't see them in, in, in well, yeah, I, I, I'll talk about it another time. But they had Coy Jandrew talking about Hector Navarro. He's the champion. He challenged Hector. Shots at the king! I know. Right wow, that's it. dangerous. So what is going to happen here? What are these five competitors going to do? It's going to be really interesting interesting and entertaining to say the least. And the five-way format is so much fun because we get so many competitors up on the main stage and we just eliminate them one by one until only one is left. It is going to be the proverbial barn burner. No animals were harmed in the filming of this vid. Mark, I'm ready to go if you're ready to go. Give me one second. Let's do this, Christian. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia <laughs> showdown. Fatal five-way in the inner geekdom division. Introducing first. Representing Spree Junkies. Making her inner geekdom debut. She is Charlie the Fighter Feldman. There she is. The flexing, the running. I like that. Up move. in the biceps. I like it very much so. As she sits down, she's getting used to the first time to being in the show. Now we're going to see what Charlie can bring. First time on the set. To the table. First time on the set. Oh, because it is a table, in fact. Table. Well done. And coming out next, representing Marvel Movie News, he is Crazy Boy wow. oh. Get out of here with your Marvel and your DC. He's wearing a whole comic book on his. Look at that. That's, that's a whole see some. That's a whole graphic is novel. Is he cheating? Ah, it, that could potentially be cheating. Coming out next. Representing Geek and Sony. She is the Enigma. Gigawatts worth of pure energy is Erica Ishii. <laughs> Our first competitor to ever break their leg walked in. A lot like Doc Brown when he slipped on the toilet, cracked his head, and drew the flux capacitor. Will she come up with a great invention here today? And their next opponent, representing the movie trivia showdown and collider, it is the Golden Mind! Oh, 
Harry Potter theme. And she just dodged the corner at the last minute and almost took out Ishii, but she got right back. Will Mike Kownowski be killed by the corner? And their final... We're so sorry about your parents. I don't know if I could sit down in this thing, but we're going to see what happens here. <laughs> All right. So the Fatal Five way works a little different than most matches. Yes, work. it does. All right. How does round number one work? Will you tell our competitors so they know? Round number one works as thus. Each question you hear is going to be in one of the inner geekdom special categories. The questions are worth one points. In round one, you get 10 questions. So when you hear the question, simply write down your answer on the whiteboard. When we ask you to reveal your answer, please verbalize it into your microphone and at the same time show the whiteboard to the camera as further evidence. There's no penalty for missing a question. The questions are worth one point. There is no stealing in round one. Now, whoever has the least amount of points after round one You're will done. be eliminated. Get out. All right, hmm. so here we go. Round number one. Let's start it up. All right, so Charlie, are you ready? I'm stunned by him not having nipples, so <laughs> ready is not my main thought. But Joel almost Schumacher. there, almost there. Corey, are you ready? Ready. Eric, are you ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> Emma, are you ready? I'm impressed by Mike Kalinowski's posture. And Mike, are you ready? Let's do this. Then let's get ready to schmodown! Yeah! All right, round number one. Here we go, Mark. Let In the category of a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars. Who plays the character Shirat Imwe in the movie Rogue One. This is your favorite the Star Wars film of all time. Actor. I loved Rogue One, but it is no Return of the Jedi. Oh, my favorite movie of all time. Not, not a lot of Ewoks Five, in Rogue One. Four. I don't think there's any. Three. Now that I think about it. Stop talking to yourself. Two. One. Pens down. And Charlie. Riz Ahmed. That's incorrect. Koi. That Slumdog Millionaire guy? Incorrect. Erica. <laughs> my boy Donnie Yen. Correct for one oh. point. Emma. Donnie Yen. One point, Mike. Donnie Yen. All right, so the last three. Right. Erica, Mike, and Emma all hit with one point. One point so there, Charlie right. and Coy, get out of here. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> You're loose. Not yet, not yet. Oh, sorry. Got Ten Jump questions. Ten questions. All right, question two comes in the realm of Marvel films. In X-Men Days of Future Past, what government building does Magneto surround with a baseball stadium? If anything you do bothers me more than the way you say X-Men. Why? You say X-Men, like it's their last name. Well, John X-Men. John X-Men. I had a friend named You did, you did not! How do you know that? Because <laughs> I, I see the look on your face. We're three, two, one. Three, two, X -Men. one. Pens down, please. And Coy. Washington Monument. It's incorrect. Uh, uh, sorry, Erica? Uh, the NSA building? Incorrect. Emma? Uh, this is a pure guess. The Chrysler building? Incorrect. Mike? White House. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And Charlie? White House. That's correct. Oh, nice. It right, is the so White House. Charlie and Kalinowski. Kalinowski is the only one who has not missed yet. That's right. In the world of Lord of the Rings, in the Fellowship of the Ring, what was the name of the pony? Jesus Christ. What was the name <laughs> of the pony that Sam had to let return home before they entered the mines of Moria? I'm going to bet you that Cushing and John... The we need guy. the name of the pony that Sam had right, to let return they home they right, before they entered the mines of Moria. Three, two, one. Pens down, please. Erica. Bill the pony! That is correct. Erica, showing up. Emma. Bill! Correct. Mike. Eagleness. Mike misses. And Charlie. Epona, and then I drew a Triforce. <laughs> Koi. A young sea biscuit. Wow. All right. So Erica, Mike, and Emma all tied up here. Koi is in serious trouble here. He's got to start getting a, a couple points. The name of the pony? The pony? <laughs> <laughs> they got it. All right, your next category. It's impressive. In the category of DC films, DC films, who composed the score for 1989's Batman? 
And huh. did the composer own a pony? <laughs> Named Bill. <laughs> Who names their pony Bill? You don't oh really give God. a horse a human name there. Like Five. I know it! Four, I just can't remember! Three, three no. two, <laughs> one. I'm going to guess Emma Fife doesn't I have don't, it. I don't, and I'm going to kick myself when Mike I hear Kalinowski. it because I know it. Danny Elfman. Oh, Correct. God damn it. <laughs> Correct, Charlie. The Mystic Knight of the Danny Elfman. Correct, Coy. <laughs> Danny Tiberius Elfman. Correct, and Erica. Danny Elfman. Danny Elfman. Charlie has two, Emma has two, Erica three, Mike three, and Coy has one. Big right. point for Coy getting on the board there, and now we move to Star Trek movies. Star Trek. Who played the villainous Klingon Commander Krug in Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock? I just heard Robert Meyer Burnett scream from down the block, yelling, God! Yeah. Five, four. He knows the date he saw the movie. Three, Three it's true. two, one. Pens down, please. And Mike Kalinowski. Christopher Lloyd? Correct for yes. one point. Yes. Charlie. Oh, I love Christopher Lloyd. I said Raul Julia. Uh, that's incorrect. Coy. I was going to write Bill the Horse, but I didn't. All right. <laughs> Erica. I was going to have some sort of weird Benedict Cumberbatch alternative <laughs> name, but I didn't come it. up with it in time. Emma. I started to write a very intimidating man and didn't get all, all the way right. through it. All right. Well, Mike, so Mike Kalinowski, Mike Kalinowski, <laughs> Mike Kalinowski yeah, hits it. I did all right. Have a, That's a all question. right. Next question here in the DCEU. Viola Davis played what character in Suicide Squad? I got to Google pictures of Christopher Lloyd as a Klingon. That sounds amazing. Gun ship. No. <laughs> Five. Four. Three. Look at these pictures of him as a Klingon. That's really good. <laughs> Two. One. Pens down, please. And Charlie. Angela Warren? Uh, that is incorrect. Four. Amanda Waller. That's correct. Mm. Erica. Amanda Waller. Correct. Oh. Emma. I, I just wrote the DA, <laughs> which stands for district attorney. Incorrect. Kalinowski. The wall, Amanda Waller. That is correct. So Kalinowski hits <gasps> point. Now look at this. It is a three-way tie here. Charlie, Coy, and Emma all with two points. <laughs> Erica and Mike are looking like they might get into that second round. That's right. Kalinowski might need one more right, then he can hop on a hammock for the rest of round one. Your next category comes from the world of Harry Potter movies. <laughs> In the sport of Quidditch. What are the two jet black balls of iron called that are bewitched to fly around and knock players off their brooms? Dear God. Dear God, this is hard. Right. Really, you got to reach into your inner geek deck. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Koi? Bulgers? That's incorrect. Erica. Erica. Bludgers. That's correct. Mm. Very close. Dyslexia. Emma. Bludgers. Correct. Mike. Bludgers. Correct. Yeah. Charlie. Bludger. Correct. Mm. Damn. All right, look at that. So that was a big miss by Corey there. Charlie and Emma, big hits there for the two of them. Okay. Next one. Three questions left in round one. Category of the MCU. In the Thor films, Earth is stated to be part of which realm? You know how many round. planets are in the solar system right now? 173. There's, there's eight and a half. Eight and a half. I think Pluto is, is officially a half is planet. It, I don't even think it counts. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Erica. Mortal? Incorrect. Emma. I wrote Midgar. <laughs> that, uh, what, what did you say? Mid Midgar. That's incorrect. And I, no, I said nine realms. Charlie. Lights. Incorrect, Coy. Midgard. That's correct. Gotta have that oh. D. That oh. D. Oh, oh, Midgard's oh, from Final D. Fantasy That is a yeah. huge yeah. point <laughs> for Coy Jenner because <laughs> now we have a three-way tie at the bottom. These I last two this. questions <laughs> are going to get intense. Oh, should have gotten that. Your second to last question, your penultimate question, if you will, comes from, again, the world of Lord of the Rings. What is Bill the Horse's son's name? <laughs> you love this Bill the Horse thing. In the world of Lord of the Rings, in the film Return of the King, what character sings The Edge of Night? It sounds like a white snake song. <laughs> it really The does. Edge of Night. I'm not going to lie. They do uh, Still of the Night and right. Children of the Night. Right. Complete the Night trilogy for David Coverdale's mm. band. I'm glad we're friends. Five. Here I go. Four. Gentlemen. Three. Two, one, pens down, please. And Erica. Peregrine Pippin Took. That is correct. Emma. Peregrine Took, AK Pippin. Correct. Mike. Pippin. Correct. Charlie. It's a great musical, Pippin. Correct. <laughs> Pippin. Correct. Yay! Wow. Yay! 
Oh, Look at nice. that. Seven, six. So Erica and Mike are already in the second round. Now, Coy, Charlie, and Emma, <laughs> this is huge. Mm. This is really big. If they all tie up here, then we're going to keep getting questions if someone gets one wrong. Mm -hmm. But if anyone misses, Oh, man, they, then we will see what happens. Kalinowski here. and Ishii just playing for fantasy points they and their have, own practice if they want. don't have to play if you don't want. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Your question in the world of Star Wars. Since Christian's drinking, I'll ask it. What actor physically played Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace? Oh, wow. Look at that. Charlie's struggling here. Looking to find it. All it. comes down. This is to big here. If she can find the name, we'll see Ishii what happens. Ishii and Batman. Five, just four, three, two, one. Pens down. And start with Charlie. Double-sided bro, dude. Coy. That is incorrect. <laughs> Ray Park. Erica. Uh, I just wanted to be Doug Jones. Emma. Ray Park. And Mike. Ray Park. And with that, Charlie Feldman mm. has been eliminated. Oh. Finish the marches. Wow, look at that. What a battle that was, though. The last yeah, question. Charlie did really well, hitting four out of the ten. <laughs> and Charlie now, the rest of the table here will be Coy, Erica, Mike, and Emma. That's right. Well done, Charlie Feldman. I've engaged in cinematic combat with her before. She knows her stuff and uh, almost made it through to the next round of the Inner Geekdom Fatal Five way. All right, Mark, so round <laughs> number two begins. How does round two work? Competitors, round two works remarkably similar to round one, except obviously with different questions. You will get 10 queries from 10 different worlds of the inner geekdom. Each question is worth one point. No stealing, no penalty for missing a question. You write your answers down. You verbalize it. You do the whole drill. Christian's going to be asking them first. Here we go in the category of Star Trek. In Star Trek Into Darkness, who played Fleet Admiral Alexander Marcus, Commander-in-Chief of Starfleet? Alexander Marcus, two first names. Never trust people with two first names. No, my, my Actually, I guess Mark Ellis is kind of a... You have two first names. Ellis is kind of a first name. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ellis, Die Hard. Five, four, Han, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Coy. I had nothing. Okay, Erica. I drew the Starfleet symbol. <laughs> uh, no, Emma. Uh, I wrote Robocop in parentheses. Yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, give her a point! No. Give her a point! <laughs> she earned come it! Up with the I can name. picture not, not him. I'm going to give her the point on yeah. that. Mike Kalinowski. The actor in the suit, Peter Weller. That's uh, right. Uh, Kalinowski. That's Kalinowski. his name. She deserves the point. Kalinowski. Well played. Kalinowski backing up his talk. I got, I got your back, Fudge. All right, here we go. Next category in the category of Marvel films. That is incorrect. In the category oh, of Harry Potter movies. Harry Potter movies. What was the name of the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor in The Goblet of Fire? Oh, The Goblet of Fire. Did you know? Yes. Because I did not know this. I knew it. Harry Potter yeah. is actually based on a series of novels. Uh, graphic novels. <laughs> no, no pictures whatsoever. Five. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. Erica. Oh, oh my God. Didn't have I it? Choked. Okay, I Emma. choked. Okay, Emma. Matt I. Moody? Correct. Mike. Matt I. Moody. Correct. Coy. Yeah! I thought this one Snape took over. I was wrong. All right. Mm -hmm. So then we got I'm Mike Kalinowski and Emma. So oh Erica and Coy have not hit yet. That's right. right. One of them needs to start <laughs> kicking it in here. All right. Can't, in the next the category, category of Marvel films okay. in Deadpool. What is the name of the taxi driver that gives a ride to Deadpool multiple times in the film? Coy knew that one. Coy had it. Unless he wrote Snake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Emma. Uh, he's played by my friend Karin Sony, but I could not come up with the character's name. Kalinowski. I hope this isn't racist, but Samir? Nope, that's <laughs> racist. And Coy. <laughs> Ranjit. That, that's the first part of it, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah, he calls we, him Rajit the whole time. He, he does call him Rajit. We're going to give that to you. All right, and <laughs> Erica. I drew Hello Kitty. We were <laughs> Rajit or Dopinder is where we're going. Oh, ah, so, ah, there that's we go. Right. You're right. right. He does call him Rajit. Okay, next category. Your next category is in the world of DCEU, the current DC Comics Extended Universe. Who plays Captain Boomerang in the Oscar-winning film Suicide Squad? <laughs> I think it did, though. Didn't it actually get nominated? I think they got, no, 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 they, they won. Did they win? They, they, they won. Or like yeah. sound mixing or something. Right, right. It's the still Academy Award-winning yeah. Suicide Squad. Still right. a statue. Take it easy. Five, four, 
Three, two. These are long seconds. One. And Mike Kalinowski. Jack Courtney. Correct. Coy. I pictured him, got nothing. Uh, Erica. The guy that looks like Channing Tatum. Wow, Emma. And I put someone great and ethnically diverse. Wow, so Mike Kalinowski <laughs> here is, is, has three. Coy has one, Emma has one. All That's right. right, it might be Miller time for Batman here <laughs> soon. All right, here we go, next category, category of DC films. DC films. In the 1978 Superman, what is the name of Lex Luthor's bumbling assistant? Kalinowski slamming down his... Sorry, he's, he's, purple. he's sorry, purple. almost purple. upset at the ease of the questions right. thus far. Right. All right. He's got crime to fight. Five, four, <clears throat> three, two, one. Pence down. Kalinowski. Because he wanted his own area called Otisburg Otis. Otis is correct. Coy. Jarvis 2.0. That is incorrect. <laughs> Erica. Comic pull, Mercy Graves. Emma. I put Groucho. Felt that was a wow. great comedic name. I like that name. <laughs> Mike Kalinowski on fire. Yes, <laughs> next right. question. Your next Crushing question. It, guys, for crushing it. In the world of the MCU, Marvel Comics Universe, what is the name of the device that powers the Iron Man suits? Name of the device. I'm just listening to these questions realizing I'd be terrible. Dude, I would be getting my ass kicked yeah, right I would now. have been eliminated a long time. I would have quit. I would have left after that pony question. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pence down and coy. The arc reactor. Correct. Erica. Arc reactor. Correct. Emma. Arc reactor. Correct. And Kalinowski. Arc reactor, which eventually becomes the palladium reactor. <laughs> Kalinowski is starting to become <laughs> the professor, my Kalinowski. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Next question here. Incredible. Category of Marvel films. Ben Foster portrayed which mutant in the X-Men franchise? X-Men. The X-Men franchise. <laughs> they're they're X-Men. X-Men franchise. You're, you're <laughs> making it. Now you're doing it on purpose. Exminius. <laughs> Exminius. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down and coy. He was Angel in X-Men 3, and he was also in Punisher with Tom Jane. That oh. is correct. That's there a lot of correct. Erica. I said Toad. Uh, Emma. I also wrote an X-Men Beast. <laughs> and Mike Kalinowski. Warren Worthington the third Angel. <laughs> All right, so look at that. So Kalinowski has already insured himself into round three. Koi, Emma, and Erica are fighting. Who is going to get eliminated here? We're going to find out. That's soon. right, Mike. You can go ahead and get out of the Batman suit till the next time. <laughs> Someone please pry me out. Your next question in the world of DC movies. In the film Batman Forever, which did have nipples. Mm -hmm. What is the full name, the first and last name of Jim Carrey's character before he turns into the Riddler? Is it Lewis Xman? <laughs> no. Xman is not. How would you say E X Men? E C K S X Men. Men. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Erica. Edward Nigma. That's correct. Emma. Edward Nigma. Correct. Kalinowski. Edward Nigma. And Coy. Edward E. Nigma. That is correct. Ooh. All right. Yeah. So there you go. So Coy now with four. Erica, two. Emma, three. And Mike has seven. Erica needs this question right now. If Emma gets this one right, Erica has to get it right or else she will be eliminated. All right. Here we go. So the next question in the category of the DC EU. Who plays Queen Hippolyta in Wonder Woman? Who plays Queen? Did I say that wrong? You no, know, Queen is correct. Thank you. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Emma Fight. Uh, it's Connie something. I wrote Connie Wilson. Incorrect. Mike Kalinowski. <laughs> the fantastic Connie Nielsen. Nielsen. That's okay. correct. Boy. I wrote Robin Wright no longer pen. Uh -huh. All right. And Erica? I said, no spoilers. I haven't seen it yet, oh, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. So, but because Emma missed, she is still in this. Erica is still in this. So it comes down to this. Coy and Mike have advanced to the third round. That's right. Erica needs to hit this, and she needs Emma to miss this in, for the next round. Here we go, Mark. In the world of Star Wars, in the greatest film ever made, Return of the Jedi, what sector were Imperial ships detected in during the second Death Star battle? It's not exactly what is Luke's last name, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> Whoa, wow. boy. And five. We need the sector. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down, please. And Mike Kalinowski. 
I know it's wrong, but the Endor sector? No, incorrect. Koi. Sector nine and three quarters? Incorrect, <laughs> Erica. Uh, I got nothing. And Emma. I wrote uh, the Endor ish region. Nobody hits it. It's sector 47. Sector 47. But with oh. that, uh, Erica Ishii <laughs> oh has been eliminated. Hell of a game. Hell of a game. She played good. So now it's Koi Jandrew, Emma Fife, and Mike Kalinowski heading into the dreaded wheel round. <laughs> Round number three. <laughs> That's right. Hats off to Erica Yushi making her debut in the inner geekdom. A great Back to the Future dress and almost as great entrance. Just could not quite get into round three. All right, so here we go. Round number three. Corey Ginger, Emma Fife, Mike Kalinowski Woo. battling it out. Mark, how does round three work? In round three, known as the wheel round, it can bless, it can curse, it can provide goodies for the victor if you spin the category of your choosing, you will see the categories on there. Once you spin a category, if you do not like the category you spin, you are awarded a mulligan. You can spin again, whatever that lands on. You must answer four questions correctly or incorrectly from said category. Each question is worth two points. If you do not know the answer to the question, you're not sure of it, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one point. Now, remember how steals work in this round. You will be presented with a whiteboard. You will write, when your opponent is answering, write the answer on the board immediately. If they miss it, erase it. I mean, excuse me, if they hit it, erase it. If they miss it, you'll be asked to show your answer for your steal. And two. two people can get one point? Yep. Oh, cool. All right, so here we go. All right, Mark, um, Mike Kalinowski has scored the most collective points. So Mike, you can go first if you choose. And whatever I pick is then eliminated off the board, right? Yes. Okay, I'll go first. All right. All right. Oh, Jesus, right. this is a chance. <laughs> Bruce Wayne can you get up here. You got this, Mike. Thought he was going to have Alfred spin it. Yeah! There's the spin. What's he looking for here? What's he looking for? And it's going to Maybe land. the DC movies. He's big on those. Landing looking on. at mixed bag. Mixed bag. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I can spin again? You can. Yeah, once again. again. All right. Spin it. Spin it again. There's the spin. Where are the drugs? There it is. There's the spin. Whatever he hits here, he's got to go for it. Does he, he get DC or DCEU? DCU not looking good, but DC. Looking on. Oh! Marvel films. Good spin from Mike Kalinowski. Wow. Stand it. Let's, what, let's do it. Marvel movies. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Now, remember, Koi and Emma, you guys, the way to steal is while Mike gets his question, write down your answer now. It's good practice anyway. Yeah. All right. Here you go, Mike. Your first question. In X-Men, first class, X-Men. First class, what did Magneto kill Sebastian Shaw with? No, you don't have to write it down, oh. Mike. You just answer it. A coin. That's correct for yeah. two points. He wrote it down like he a good kid, down. though. Yeah, Mike, you don't have to write I it like down. that count, Alski. Yeah. While you're going right now, no writing is necessary. All right, Mike. Well, ranting to Colossus, what does Deadpool refer to the X Mansion as? Multiple choice. Is it A, the Neverland Mansion? B, the Boy Band HQ, C, the Pervert Manor, or D, Triple X Men Mansion? Wh which one do you? And Kalinowski uh, can verbalize. Uh, uh, can, can I get one more? Do you pull the JT rule? You want to repeat the questions? You have the multiple choice? Yes. Yes. A, Neverland Mansion, B, Boy Band HQ, C, Pervert Manor, D, Triple X Men Mansion. You don't have to write it. Okay, I'm sorry. A. I'm going to go A. A is correct for one point. <laughs> All right, there you go. Very good penmanship. I'm sorry. I'm, about yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's nervous. He's nervous. Question three. Question three. In Logan, what is the name of the group of mutant hunters led by Donald Pierce? Ravagers. That's incorrect. Uh -huh. All right, so for the steal. So now, Koi and Emma suddenly awake. They do not get the benefit of multiple choice. They could choice. steal two Stupid. points, though. It's a big two-point steal if they hit it. Five, four, three, two, one. Please reveal your answers at the same time. Uh, I put Wreckers. Incorrect. Koi doesn't have anything. Yeah. It's it was the Reavers. Reavers. Oh, Reavers. Reavers. Damn, once you said it, I couldn't unhear yeah. it. Yeah. stayed there. Last Damn. question, Mar Mike, for your final question. In Blade, what do the vampires <laughs> call Blade? Daywalker. Correct, for yeah. two points. He, he said that sickened. annoyed. He was sick Yeah, that he question. didn't like your question at all. All right, so, Corey, you had the second amount of points. You get to go unless you want Emma to go. 
Oh, All right, here you go. Right. Give it a good spin. All right, here you go. Standing up like that, man. Same thing. Yeah. Oh, good good yeah. spin, Clay. Good, right, good spin there. All right, it's going to land on. Where are we hitting? Round it going? goes. Where doing? it lands, uh -oh. opponent's uh -oh. joy. Oh. MCU. Oh. MCU. Like that, the MCU. He's going to take want, the MCU. He's going to take it, Mark. There you go. All right. <clears throat> Coy Jandra, first question in the world of MCU movies. In Iron Man 3, in what United State did Tony, Tony crash land after escaping the attack on his home by the Mandarin? In what United States state? Connecticut? That is incorrect. Doesn't go for multiple choice. Okay, so guys, uh, Emma and Mike, same time, please. I put Iowa? Mike. Cleveland. Incorrect. Cleveland is not a state, oh. and <laughs> it was Sorry. Tennessee looking for Tennessee. Don't Tennessee. forget the multiple. I forgot the close, but we got it anyway. <laughs> All right, here we yes. go. In your defense, Cleveland is a state of mind. <laughs> your next question, Coy. In The Winter Soldier, what was the name of Sam's wingman that was killed in action? We just need the first name. <laughs> Sam's wingman. Sam's wingman that was killed in action. Multiple choice. Is it A, Riley, B, Chris, C, Matthew, or D, Thomas? Not a confident face. Five, four. Riley. Give him a point. One point wow. There. One point. Wow. There. Look One at point. that. All right. Your next question, Court. When Doctor Strange is mugged on the streets of Katmandu, what does Mordo retrieve for him? His watch. Two points. Correct. That is Two correct. quick points. Final question. All right. Like, uh, there we are. And Court, your final question. In round number three, the world of the MCU in the Avengers. What outside force is influencing the Avengers to argue with each other on the helicarrier? Oh, uh, Loki. He's uh, he's implemented. He's in their minds and controlling them. Loki. I think we can accept. We that. can accept. I that. think that is a, that is a correct answer. We Two can, points. We can accept Loki scepter. For Loki. Coy Loki Jan Jan we'll take, yeah, we'll take it. All right. So then that is it. Koi had five. Right. We're tied. Five. We're tied. Emma needs at least five points in order to stay in. Anything less than that, then she. However, oh, wait, it could be Emma, steals. Emma. It could be steals. Very Yeah. Yes. Harry Potter. Oh. She hits Harry Potter. <laughs> She's dressed like Harry Potter. This is big. I'll tell you why. <laughs> this is why this is big. Because if, if if Emma can get more than five points, then Coy and Mike will be in a sudden death situation. This is really big okay. here. All right, here we go. Harry Potter, Emma Fife. Mm -hmm. What is Harry's aunt's name? Petunia. Correct for two points. Very confident. Very right. confident Fife. Question question two. Sirius Black's home also doubles as the headquarters for the Order of the Phoenix. Number 12, Grimmauld Place. That is correct. <laughs> I didn't even finish didn't the question. We didn't even finish. There's a finish. whole nother line. Wow. So, There's a whole nother line. So it, Emma, Emma Fife here could, with this question, force Coy and Mike to get into a sudden death. Coy and Mike should just leave. <laughs> what, what was the name of the wand maker that Voldemort killed? Ollivander. That's incorrect. Oh, darn it. That's incorrect. Oh, so I know what it I'll is. Finish, I'll finish the question Sorry. for Coy This and could Mike. be a huge deal right now. What was the name of the wand maker that Voldemort killed in Deathly Hollows Part 1 during his search for the Elder Wand? So do you guys know? This could be a monstrous deal. John right Roca's ears are about to fall off. Mm. Do we get multiple choice? Got no, okay. she did not shade it. So, five. so it's in, I'm sorry, can we do the question? That, that's going to count as a JT rule. Okay. All right, so... What was the name of the wand maker that Voldemort Shouldn't killed in Deathly <laughs> Hollows Part 1 during his search for the Elder Wand? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. You guys got anything? Bill the Pony. Incorrect. <laughs> Emma, do you know it now? No, I, I would. Gagorovich. Ah, uh, yes, Gagorovich. Uh, yeah, if, right. if I'd gone multiple choice, I would have got it. This we is go. interesting. All right. So if Emma, it's okay. if Emma hits this, Coy and Mike go to a sudden death type situation to get into round number four. If she misses, then Coy and Mike automatically go to the final round. This is like a good game of Quidditch. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Emma Fife, what is the name of the class where Hogwarts students study plants and their magical properties? Oh, um, oh, I gotta go multiple choice. Is it A, Lee Monsensee, B, 
Herbology. C, divination. D, transfiguration. Herbology. It is a tie game oh! all the way through. We've never had this five. before. Five. <laughs> had yeah. five. Keep those whiteboards. So Mike Kalinowski, because he has the most amount of points, will spin the wheel. Whatever it lands on, we will ask whoever misses first. Whoever misses will be eliminated. Keep in mind, competitors, now, Mike, you do get to use your whiteboard because you're not going to be verbalizing <laughs> the answer. You get to write it down first. Keep it in your mind until we ask you to reveal it. Mike, go ahead and spin. You have the destiny. I love the spin. fact that Batman has to get up again. Uh -huh. And it's like old Batman, too, because his legs are... That is a bad spin right Emma's there. hoping for Harry Potter. Man. What's it going to land on? It is. It is who, who said, said it? it? Who said it? OK. Who said it? All I didn't right. even know we had that category. All Apparently, right, we, we do. OK. We, all right, guys, here we go. All right. Here is your question. Write it down on the whiteboard. Do not verbalize it. Who said? Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Five, four, three. A two, a one. Two, okay, let's one. get here. Jack Nicholson's Joker. The Joker. The Joker. Also, right, what accepted Jack Napier. All right, here we go. Mm. Your next question. Question number two Who said, You know all those dangerous mutants you hear about in the news? I'm the worst one. I said that at a bar one time. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Yeah. Did not end well. Five, four, three, two, one, and Emma Fife. Was it Rogue? That's incorrect. <sighs> Mike Kalinowski. Pyro. That's correct. Oh. And Coy, I was wrong. I Coy. said Mystique. And so Mike Kalinowski has advanced, but now it, Coy and Emma okay. have okay. continue to play. Continue to All play. Right. All right. <laughs> so whoever misses first between Coy and Emma, here we go. All right. In the MCU, who said, I am not some starry-eyed waif here to succumb to your, your pelvic sorcery? I've heard that at a bar. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Koi, you, you didn't have anything. Emma. Oh boy. Pure guest, Jane Foster. Correct. Mm, looking for Gamora. Uh, looking oh, for yep. Koya yep. still Gamora. Alive. All right, here we go. Who said the following? You know who I am. You don't know where I am, and you'll never see me coming. Can you repeat that one? Yep. Who said, you know who I am. You don't know where I am, and you'll never see me coming. I think I heard somebody five. in the crowd swear. That uh, was my count out. Somebody Four. Said bad. Oh, it was a count. That was me. Three. Oh, it's fine. I'm sorry. Two. You've been through a lot in your life, Bruce. And one, please, pen down, Emma. When in doubt, always go Batman. Incorrect. <laughs> Rorschach from Watchmen? Man, we're looking for the Mandarin. You'll oh. never see oh, me. You'll never see me. Come in. Come in. There we go. So. Dang. All right. All right. <laughs> Here's your next question. I'm sweating here, guys. You guys are killing me. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Perk your ears up, because it's a longer one. OK. What supporting character said, I believe there's a hero in all of us. It keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble, and finally allows us to die with pride, even though sometimes we have to be steady and give up the thing we want the most, even our dream. I delivered that so fucking beautifully. You did. You just cursed. Five. Did you hear it? Yeah. I heard the curse. Four. <laughs> God, I was good. Three. <laughs> two. One. Oh. Pens down. Emma. I have no idea. I put Agent Coulson. Coy. I have no. <laughs> Looking for May Parker. Oh, right. hey. here's, the, here's the next one. Sam Raimi. Here's the next one. Are, All right, rough. in Return Jesus. of the Jedi, who says the shield is down? Commence attack on the Death Star's main reactor. The shield is down. Five, four, three, can't help it. two, one, Koi. It's a trap, Akbar. Akbar is correct. Yeah, I Emma? thought it was Han Solo on the ground. Oh, and with that, <laughs> Koi Jandrew uh, yeah. eliminates Emma Fife. What a battle uh, as we get into the <laughs> final <laughs> round. We just give him all for him to get a participation. I, know, I mean, this is this is something. Uh, this what is an something. effort by all these competitors. All right. Amazing. Here we go. Harry Potter knowledge. Awesome. All Perfect. right. So the final Ooh. round is between <laughs> Koi Jandrew, Mike Kalinowski. It is a battle here in the final round. 
this is how it works. Mark, how's it go? In the final round, we are going to ask a series of three questions from three different categories. You do the usual write down on the whiteboard when we ask you to answer the question, show it to the camera and verbalize it. Each question is worth a point. We're going to go best of three. So whoever gets the most out of these three wins, if there is a tie after these three questions, then we do the sudden death format. We ask a question, whoever gets it wrong first loses. All right, here we go, guys. In the category of Lord of the Rings, what is the name of the capital city of Rohan? Emma Fife is losing her mind in the Emma back. Fife, as is Ishii. Ishii. I believe Feldman knows the answer as well. And five. Does Batman Four, or the guy wearing a Batman shirt? Three, two, one, and pens down. What do you, what do you got, Corey? Nothing? Uh, <laughs> Rwanda. <Okay. laughs> Mike. Gondor? Incorrect. You're looking for Edoras. Looking for Edoras. Come Edoras. on, guys. I'm sorry. Idiots. Looking for Edoras. Edoras. I don't write the questions. Come on, do guys. I pretend that I would be any good at this? I've been All to right. Edoras three times. Here we go. Edoras. Edoras. All right, here we go. Next question, Mark. The next question is from the world of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Who played the once paralyzed man, Jonathan Pangborn, that Doctor Strange sought out for information about possible treatment for his hands? We need the actor. And that's him trying to find his name. You can see his face. In the conjure. He's put up the bat signal. Wow. Five. Four. Three. They might have used all their energy in the first round here, Chris. Two. Repeat the question, please. That's your last one. That's your last one. This, this also gives Jandro it a does. possibility, too. Your question is such. Who played the once paralyzed man, Jonathan Pangborn, that Doctor Strange sought out for information about a possible treatment for his hands? All right. Did it pay off for Kalinowski? Kalinowski, go ahead. What do you Benjamin got? Bratt. That's correct. Ah! Boy, boy. Didn't have it. Brett. I, uh, wow, it paid off. That move paid, but that was Mike Kalinowski's last time for using the JT Johnny rule. Wiley. So here it is. If Mike Kalinowski can hit this, he will win the game. All right, here we go. Category of Harry Potter. What are the names of Draco Malfoy's two flunkies in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Coy, now this time. All right, so let's go, Coy. Crab with an E and Goyle. That's correct. No. Wow. George and Frank. Didn't have it, wow. so that's tied up here. Wow. Now we go into what we talked about, the sudden death first format. First personal lose. We're going to ask you a question. You write it that same thing, except whoever blinks first loses. Sudden death. In the world of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy, what is the home planet of the Nova Corps? I love hearing the Batman suit squeak. Yep. And now he's all out of JT rules, so he can't ask for a few questions. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Not please. A lot of confidence and here. Mike Kalinowski. Alpha Centauri? Incorrect. I didn't know, and I didn't want to pretend. Didn't have it. All right, looking for Xandar. 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 Oh, I just... All right, here we go. Next category in the category of the DCEU. Other than Mr. J, what does Harley Quinn call the Joker? Wow! <laughs> Screaming! Wow! Screaming! Screaming! Both Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down and Koi. Puddin. Correct. Mike Kalinowski. Well, this clown, pin, clown prince of crime. Not in the movie. Just yeah. Not. And your winner, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, he is Koi Chandru. Koi Chandru. Upsetting Batman. Are you challenged? <laughs> yeah, I'll challenge it. All right, there's going to be Mike Kalinowski is challenging whether or not he calls he calls the Joker. She calls the Joker the Clown Prince of Crime. Clown Prince of Crime. It has All to right. be in the movie, not the comic book. Right, it's got to be in the movie. Film the movie. Suicide Squad. All right. All right, so we're back after the judges' review. We have a decision. What's that? And your winner, Crazy Coy Jandrew! What a battle. What a battle. That was good. Jandrew wins it. It is the fatal five way at the last second. Mike Kalinowski missed it.
misses that. That was very back, man. And, and also, I, I think Corey's probably going to say the same thing in the post-game interview. He may have not played the best game here, but he just came up big at the right moments. Kownowski, too busy fighting crime to pay attention to what criminals are saying to each other. Well, there you go. All right, well, let's hear from Jen Sturgeon, who is going to be interviewing all of the competitors right now. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I'm here with Charlie. Charlie, that was really impressive wah, for your first. Wah, what? Wah. Gotta give yourself a little more credit than that. It was, was your first telling, time out there. Yeah, I was just telling uh, Koi that Ray Park, I'm gonna meet him one day and I'm gonna punch him in the face just for existing and for me not remembering his name. No, it was, it's so fun. When, once you're there, it's so much different than playing at home because yeah. you know it and you yell at your screen. And, and they're you're not probably yelling in your at face. me. What? There are not lights in your face either. There's, there's not lights in your face. You don't know where the cameras are. Uh, <laughs> She's like, where's my single? It's so fun. I said in my interview, pre-interview, this is probably not what I'm best at. So I'm really excited. I hope I get invited back to, to prove myself in the other like classic movies, 80s, 90s, horror, sci-fi. Bring me in. Bring me back. What is your niche? Do it. My niche, that's, that's probably it. Like sci-fi and horror, probably my best. Or comedy, like old comedy, airplane, kids in the hall, brain candy. I got that on lock. I'm, I'm a renaissance geek, so I know too much about, <laughs> like, too, little about too much, so. So, speaking of coming back, though, what would you like to do next here at the Schmodown? What would I like to do next? I like to team up, Erica. I love you, Charlie! Will you have me? Yes! <laughs> There's a girl mance going on here, guys. We'll have a really, like, most adorable team, I think, to ever exist. Not to be too conceited. Well, get in here, get in here! <laughs> you heard it here first! <laughs> We're coming for you guys! Oh God, We're gonna do it! It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. What's, uh, uh, Erica, share the mic, share the okay. mic. Uh, uh, Charlica. 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 They're working, yeah. you're working on the name. Erica, we'll you had a great that. showing today, too. Yes, and an adorable dress. Here, uh, you can Congra oh, okay. Congratulations on Wait, surviving oh, okay. the. Okay. I don't even need to be so, here. I, uh, I I I choked on a Harry Potter question, and that's my one my one sadness for today because I said I wouldn't choke on a Harry Potter question, uh, but I did because you know the lights are there and everyone so blames pressure. the lights. Kristen, can we work on those? Yeah, the lights. There's a lot of them. So. Congratulations, though, on surviving that vicious attack from the desk. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it's it's funny because I feel like it was just so appropriate <laughs> for me to, like, enter the inner geekdom and, and trip on my face. Because, she does her own stunts, guys. Yeah, it's like how I live my life as a geek. Just an awkward little geek. So were there any questions today that came up that you were just like, ah, oh, besides the Harry Potter one? Uh, yeah, the Harry Potter one. Um, there were some really close calls there. I, I couldn't remember like Amanda Waller to like the last second uh yeah some some real close calls but yeah I I, I can't believe that I, I like choked on the Harry Potter question and a lot of the other ones as I said I I know like a little bit about a lot of things but Harry Potter was my was my, supposed to be my my one sure thing so where did all this uh love for geekness come from oh I love stories I love stories so much and uh there's such an exuberance about uh, being part of, of geek Aww, culture. Look at this! Yes! <laughs> so oh my gross! God, this is my girl! It's Erica. Oh. Here, let me hug you proper. Oh, oh my God! You're amazing, <laughs> Emma. That was legit amazing, Emma. <laughs> you are so proud of you. Yes. Charlie and I were standing in the back and going. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's weird being on this side of uh, the mic here. Uh, what made you want to compete? You know, Easy I'm, there. I'm, here, I'm here week after week and always uh, seeing the competitors get in the ring. And I've been doing okay, but had some disappointment in the uh, in the team matches. So I was like, inner geekdom's the place. Uh, I, uh, I'm proud of how I did today. You kicked ass. Yeah. So you had the boys like against the ropes in that I third round. I did. I did. What happened though? Well, uh, what happened was I got a little ahead of myself on the Harry Potter things. Uh, yeah. If I had just slowed down, I would have gotten that Grigorovich question. I might have had to go multiple choice, but then I would have been in a better headspace for the next one and been able to come up with Herbology without having to go multiple choice, which would have put me in the finals. So, you know, you live and learn. Uh, also, I had my... Best bin moment uh, with that Han Solo thing. Oh. I was like, this isn't right. And I knew it, like, once I wrote it, I wrote Admiral Akbar, and I was like, I second guessed myself and I shouldn't have done it. Never um, second guess your gut reaction. Yeah, yeah but, uh, but nothing, nothing will be as soul crushing for me as that damn Danny Elfman question. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like sitting there and I'm like, I know the answer to this. Oh, uh, look at this. There he is. Oh. <laughs> Um, Speaking of, of Danny Elfman and Batman, 
Mike Kalinowski. Mike, I'm pretty disappointed you didn't wear the nipple suit too. I, I'm everyone, the know. ladies are disappointed in the nipples. No nipples. I was, I was sans nipples. I was impressed that you were able to stand and sit and actually pretty, turn pretty your head to I, yeah. you know look at people. I know. I, Getting I, up and spinning the wheel. I, I don't say. know how you fight crime because you barely do that. That was amazing. <laughs> it was a challenge here. Oh, Mike. So, here we are. That's pretty tough at the end, wasn't it? I don't know how I feel because sadness. Sadness, but I I I was nailing it. I was on a roll. I was just, you know, I got You were safe, taking the kids to school really two until rounds. that and even third round. They were Emma and Erica and those guys, I, I didn't know you, the level of it. Like when you pulled I got out scared. that when you pulled out that sudden death question, oh my god. Oh, like, <gasps> but I'm sitting there with those girls and I'm like, Damn, I'm in trouble here. Like <laughs> this is they the Potter and the Rings stuff. I'm like, oh, and I didn't know Emma, I knew she's Potter, but I didn't know her Lord of the Rings knowledge. Mm -hmm. So when it came down to me, Emma and Koi, I'm like, oh please let Emma go out. Please let her be, get out. And I don't want to. I, I was like, I, I, of course, I'll be fine. I can deal with him. Yeah, it would be great. And then it just was like, I was uh, sudden death question. That question, Benjamin Brett. I knew his name. I knew it. I just saw it. I went through IMDb last night and I remembered the character. And it just Is that not how you prepare me. for this kind oh, of stuff? I do. I mean, IMDb, I, you know, kind of been, like the DCU films, I thought I wouldn't know. And yeah, about question, that last it's, question. It's, it's my best spin moment. It is my best spin moment. Here I am against Marvel in a Batman costume and I get a DCEU question wrong. I just Aww. think I'm so into DC with the. DC and Marvel, we can be buddies. We easy buddies. there, oh, easy we there. Are buddies. So this is, I have to say to this guy right here, uh, hats off. It's phenomenal to to go out like that. I, I, you know, I've been against McWeeny and I went to the end. If I'm going out, that's how I want to go yeah. out. I don't want to go out in first round or anything like that. I, I'm here to stay though. I'm not. I, hopefully, these guys watch us, like those Burnettes and those Johns and those guys and Inman. They watch. They see what I'm capable of. So what's next here? I'm, st I'm going, I'm going, I got my team match coming up, I'm going to that, I'm heading back into the singles. Miss Movie, she, th Miss Movie, she thinks she's going to be another outlaw. No, I'm stopping, I'm nipping that in the bud. And I'm coming back to the Inner Kingdom. I am now a part of this. I'm not going anywhere. These guys need to watch what I just did. I had my moment, I'm coming back bigger and better. So stronger. what you're saying is, if people don't have you on their fantasy squad, now's the time to lock that Absolutely. up. Absolutely, that, that, that is, I lost, but you know what, that is a testament to what my knowledge in that thing. It's a random thing, I got tired by the end. This guy wore me out, right here. Yeah, this guy right play. That was a, dude, the heat oh, of that congratulations, last Congratulations, Coy. Insane. Thank you. That <sighs> was incredible. Wow. So you really were struggling those first couple rounds. It's a and then warm -up. something like lit up in you. Yeah. That third round. I need to like have a pre-game trivia round. I need to be back here. What do you do to prepare things. for this? I just cycle through all the stuff I know, toss it aside, and then I try to go into stuff I don't know. I try to get into the Lord of the Rings, the Harry Potter, and I try to research the world I don't know, but it actually backfired here because I forgot Marvel questions. All the stuff I actually <laughs> know, like Xandar and Nebula, like my world left me. Do you think it's any coincidence that you won? Wearing a DC shirt. Wearing a DC shirt and about a question about the Joker. I mean, I think it clouded my judgment in all the right ways and all the wrong ways. Like, every DC question I seemed to nail, all the Marvel stuff, it was a really weird, convoluted situation. I love that it was us two at the very end. Like, that Marvel DC that thing was beautiful. That was so poetic. It was it really something. Was. And he was killing it. Like, I can't even begin to compete with the numbers he was putting up. It was just like, I played like the Patriots that fourth quarter, you know? You got like, <laughs> it was after I was in the heat of battle, suddenly I woke up. And, and him missing that last question was definitely like Atlanta. So yeah, exactly, it was the sense. exact same. It was that like fourth quarter. <laughs> so, I mean, I hats off to Mike, it was a hell of a fight. So, Koi, what's next? Like, I, who, I, who do you want to face next? Where do so, you want to be in the schmodown? I'm aiming lofty, okay. but my fellow Spider-Man brother, Hector Navarro, Oof. I love the man. He knows the world, and I'm gonna have to research and study. But I'm, I'm coming for Hector. I want, I want the belt. I want it all. I want everything. And and I know I have to earn that. And I have to work for it. And I plan to. So I'm gonna learn all the stuff I didn't know today. I'm gonna come back stronger. You hear that, Hector? Them fighting words. All right, guys. Back to you. Thank you. Now, as you hear, you you hear all the competitors here had a really nice huh. Kalinowski kicking huh. himself, obviously for missing that. He he's not wrong in what he said about the, what the what she says in general. Not in the movie though. Not it's, in the movie. She uh, to them. He yeah, calls it, him putting a lot in the movie though. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Can't and fault then, him for not watching Suicide Squad. Coy's singing the same song. He wants Hector Navarro or the winner or if, if if Jeremy Johns wins at the Collision. Now that's coming up. The Collider Collision on July seventh. Make sure you check that out. We have a team title match on July 4th. Also, if you haven't been watching Inside Schmodown every Thursday, 2 p.m. PSD with the Pit Boss, Ken Knapsack. Get a bunch of interviews, 
You have brand new top 10 rankings all the time. Go and check that out. And finally, check out the Schmodown Rundown on the SK Podcast, SK Plus channel, and Schmo's No iTunes. That is an out-of-breath Christian Harloff. I am merely a sweaty Mark Ellis. We are exhausted after a crazy fatal five-way. Let's throw it to Josh Makuga. No, sure. No, 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 nah, hey, screw that hey, guy. Yeah, yeah, See Makuga. you later. Sorry, you're right. Yeah, we'll you're get right. into I'm Makuga. Just, I'm tired. Guardian Leviosa. Son, give me this. Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah, now, there you go. Okay, I gotta get this in. Uh, Josh McCook here with the fantasy. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out! Uh, here with your fantasy update. Here's what happens in the inner geekdom. Take all of the points that your person scored. If you had them in there, if they did not win, you take their point total, subtract it in half, cut it by 50%. If they did win, you get all of those points. So if you had Koi, who, if you got him before this inner geekdom, you are a clairvoyant. He wins that. He is going forward in the inner geekdom. He knows his stuff. He seems kind of like me. He's lucking his way into things. He's got that ginger power. He knows what he's doing. He's got things going on. Hold on to Koi. Mike Kalinowski, all of a sudden, he is an inner geekdom force to be reckoned with. He's like Robinson Cano in the 2014 Home Run Derby. He is big, he is good, and he likes Batman. I'm Josh McCuga. That's your fantasy update. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.